7 News at 6 starts now. We begin with breaking news. A patient who had recently traveled to West Africa has been transported to a Boston hospital after complaining of headaches and muscle aches. The patient was seen by healthcare workers at the Harvard Vanguard Medical Facility in Braintree this afternoon. Right now, that patient is receiving treatment at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Officials at the hospital just brief news reporters. Right now, they're evaluating the patient to determine if he could possibly have Ebola. If they suspect that the patient could be infected, they will begin running tests. Seven's Brandon Gano is live in Braintree with the breaking details. Well, Jan and Ryan, you know, we're told that patient came to this medical facility in Braintree around 1.30, actually just to fill a prescription. He left, witnesses say, but then he came back complaining of certain health symptoms, and that's when they discovered that he had recently had been to West Africa. He was isolated, and this health clinic was shut down. This is video of the man believed to be the one transported to Beth Israel Hospital in Boston after complaining of Ebola-like symptoms. The patient had recently traveled to Liberia and was complaining of headache and muscle aches at Harvard Vanguard Medical Clinic in Braintree. One of the ladies had yelled out that there was an emergency going on, so which kind of panicked all of us. The medical clinic was shut down just after 1.30 while the man was quarantined outside. No one was allowed in or out. Yeah, it was scary for a while. My daughter kept calling me, my son. Denise DiMarzio is seven months pregnant and eventually ran out of the building on her own. I'm kind of afraid for my health. This is something that I could catch and my baby could contact and whatnot, and they couldn't answer us. My mom actually called my cell phone and said, get out right now that there is an Ebola scare, that somebody is there who just came back from Liberia two weeks ago. Harvard Vanguard and Braintree is back open, but several people who were held inside said the clinic did not immediately close its doors. Why would you expose people? You're a med, you know, why would you expose people? You know, they should have had it closed off and not let anyone in, and then, you know, you it's 50 more people that wouldn't have been had to worry about this. Right. And no one's really told us what to do. They just said take a shower and and check your temperature for the next 21 days. Now, I think it's important to stress here right now, this is all just precautionary measures. The CDC has not gotten back to me yet, and the Department of Health, all they will say is that right now, there are no confirmed cases of Ebola in the state of Massachusetts. We're live in Braintree. I'm Brandon Gano, 7 News.